Space, one of the universe's greatest mysteries that only recently have we begun to truly understand. With brilliant celestial bodies such as black holes and supernovas, it's no wonder that man has been captivated by the night sky above him for so long. However, our journey takes us to a little planet called Earth, a planet teeming with life and happiness except for one virus called HIV. Most scientists believe that HIV is actually a mutated form of SIV, also known as simian immunodeficiency virus. This frequent exposure necessary for interspecies transfer of pathogens was most likely due to the bushmeat practices in Central and West Africa. From its humble beginnings, HIV has since infected many famous people including Freddie Mercury, Magic Johnson, and even three-time Grand Slam winner Arthur Ashe. Way to go, HIV. Despite the fact that one in five people believe that there is a vaccination for HIV, the frequently mutating nature of this virus prevents a universal vaccination from being developed. Although a vaccination may not exist, there exist several treatments to treat HIV, such as reverse transcriptase inhibitors. However, to fully understand reverse transcriptase inhibitors, one must first look at reverse transcriptase itself. This is an image depicting the structure of reverse transcriptase, which is an enzyme that HIV uses to translate its genetic material, which is RNA, into a single strand of DNA. This DNA is then copied again in order to produce a double-stranded segment of DNA. Once the double-stranded DNA is created, the DNA is inserted into the DNA of the host cell using another enzyme called integrase. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors try to stop this process by stopping the, re the reverse transcriptase from ever creating the DNA in the first place. Hi guys, it's Mr. Ginn, and in this podcast we're going to talk a little bit about capsid proteins, uh, also known as P24. Now you may, be, you may be asking yourself, what does a capsid do? Well, a capsid is essentially a protein coat that protects a virus's genetic material, and this is principally so that it doesn't get altered or harmed by outside agents. Uh, uh, that might be floating around in the host cell or really wherever the virus happens to be. Now these capsids can come in several different formations like helices, but HIV's capsid actually comes in a structure known as a fullerene cone. Uh, now you can see I just put it on your screen here, but um, this is very important as it uh, allows HIV to really shield its uh, genetic material so it's not changed and that doesn't uh, kind of hamper its ability to reproduce in the host cell. Now, something very important about the HIV's capsid is that its sequence is actually very highly conserved, meaning that unlike most of the virus's genetic material, it's not subject to high rates of mutation and remains relatively constant from generation to generation. Now, this is important as this is something researchers are looking at to target, as this is going to allow them to uh, t target a lot more of the viruses in the human body, um, since this is going to be present in pretty much all of them since it's highly conserved, uh, which is... Uh, going to be a lot more than other um, sequences like we might see with reverse transcriptase inhibitors as they're going to target some but there are going to be others that are highly mutated that are going to be very different and thus it won't be able to attack those. Um, so this is uh, really something big that uh, we might see in the future and uh, thanks for watching guys uh, and good luck!